What I want to do today is show my uh, chicken waterer, and um, I'm going to be cleaning it, so I thought this would be a good time to make a, a short video about it. Now, this uh, waterer uses nipples. I think you can see them there. Well, you can see a girl using it. And they took to the, the chicken nipples really quick. I'm very happy with, with that. I don't have any open water anymore. I don't have to worry about cleaning that. And the way I've designed this, I only have to mess with it once a week and that just because I don't want any kind of mold or, or anything to grow. Um, it's, a, it's an old tidy cat uh, square bucket and I've done some things to uh, make it easier to use. You can see that I've, the chickens are grabbing at my clothes. You can see that I've put this roof on. The reason I did that was twofold. One was to keep the chickens from flying up there and sitting on top of it. You don't want crap getting upstream of your water. And the other reason was to keep rainwater and all the tannic um, acids that would come from those oak trees above us from getting in the water. So I built this little roof. And it's just a, a sheet metal, piece of scrap sheet metal. And I put some, some tape on the edges to keep me and the girls from getting getting cut. Uh, what I've used to keep it on is just uh, one of those heavy duty hangers. It, it happens to be upside down uh, because I've raised the uh, waterer over time as the chickens have gotten bigger. Eventually I'm going to have to actually put a new hole in up here. Um, I may not have to, but I may, so that the chickens uh, actually have to reach up more uh, to, to get their water. Now, if you're going to have a waterer like this, you've got to have a stand to sit it on when you go to clean it. And all I have here is two 2 by 4s screwed together. You could use a 4 by 4 And you can see that the nipples, the four nipples that are screwed into the bottom, straddle that stand so that I can do my maintenance on it. Now, I've taken this container and cut a couple holes, one on either side, and put an old strap on so that I can carry it easily. Yeah, it has this handle, and you can use that if you want to. For my feeder, I do use that. If you do decide to, I suggest you take a Dremel or a file or something, or a, uh, a rasp, and make you a notch right there where my thumb is so that when it hangs, it doesn't go cattywampus on you. Because the chickens will try to make it go cattywampus. But I've gone with this strap. Um, I forget why I did it, but I just like it better. The other thing I've done is I added this little fill hole. This enables me to just bring some water in either through the hose or a water uh, container and fill it while it's laying there and then this little uh, piece of cutout from an old uh, um, similar tidy cat container allows me to to sh shut it. That's, you know, part of the evolution. I probably wouldn't do that if I was starting fresh because I just don't need to. Because once a week or once every two weeks I'm going to be fixing it. Now here's the, uh, the water after I think a week. Now the water's a little orange because it's uh, got some of the electric lights in it, but um, I think it also probably has a little bit of mold starting. I'm going to clean it real good and put fresh water in. I read that uh, apple cider vinegar was good in small amounts to keep the mold down. I might try start trying that, although I don't know how it reacts with the uh, electrolytes that uh, I buy, the little package of powdered electrolytes. All right, I've rinsed it out real good, and now I, uh, before I refill it, I want to do a function test on the nipples. You always want to function test your nipples. And what I do there, um, and it's going to be hard to do and hold the camera, but I just uh, put a little bit of water in it and maybe an inch, and then I make sure that uh, each one of these nipples are given water when I uh, flick it. Because I've got the camera, I will do the function test on the stand, and you can easily tell if the thing's working. Um, put a little package of the electrolyte um, powder that you get from uh, tractor supply. I just put a little bit in there and then I fill it up with water and uh, replace it. I just remembered 
as I was bringing it back over why I used the um, I gotta get it adjusted here girls why I used the strap rather than the plastic bale that was already on it and it was so that I could adjust the height uh, as the chicks were growing look they think it's something new um, as the chickens were growing look, look at that that's just rude don't bite me as the chicks were growing I would have to raise it periodically and I think I'm probably gonna raise it one more time because they tend to stand on this grill work that I have to protect the grass and I'm not sure it's doing that great a job but anyway that is my chicken waterer I have no problem if we needed to leave them for a week I'd have no problem with it um, I'm going to experiment with the apple cider vinegar and if that stuff works keeping the uh, bacteria down which I haven't really seen a lot of then uh, I might would be willing to go two weeks and leave them. 